All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or Chakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is in the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Chakwadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will and teach all well the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I just want to um, get into this lesson how pretty much, you know, we're uh, fast approaching that day of doom, okay? All right, which is going to be the end of this time, all right? And uh, when I, what I mean by uh, this time is talking about this uh, rulership, this kingdom that we're in, all right, which is the uh, kingdom of Esau, Edom, which is the self-proclaimed white man, all right, the wicked of the earth, all right, according to the scriptures, all right? And, um, you know, you can see it, all right? You see all the uh, civil unrest happening out here in um, America, but not only just America, you see the division of Esau throughout his entire kingdom, okay? Whether it be here in America, whether it be, you know, in Canada, Europe, all right, in Australia, you see a huge division, all right? You see the lower level, you know, Edomites, you know, fighting against these uh, elite Edomites. And then you also have within the, you know, um, the elite system, all right, you're, you're seeing uh, um, infighting, all right, which also happened in the, the, uh, the time of, uh, of the Roman Empire as well, okay? When you go into the history of Rome, you know, you had um, assassinations, you had fightings, you know, even the Greek Empire, really, they're, all their empires, they've always fought because, see, these uh, Edomites, they're very... Uh, um, they're uh, uh, driven by greed, you know. They're driven by covetous, uh, covetousness, okay. That's what they're driven by. You know, they want all things. They can't be satisfied, though, you know. So they'll just, you know, keep fighting and fighting until, you know, uh, they have it all, all right. You see? And um, that's what we're seeing, you know. And, uh, you know, we're seeing the... Uh, 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 you know, the people rise up against him, or as the scriptures say, the earth shall rise up against him, you know, meaning a violent act of uh, of uh, uh, taking down, all right, of, you know, basically force. And you see that, you know, whether it be people, whether it be animals, the, the, the actual earth itself, this, the, the, everything is against this man. And that's how you know that he's losing his blessing. Everything's uh, slipping out of his hands, okay? But um, let's start off uh, here in this scripture. In 2 Ezra 7 and 43, it says, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past, in, uh, temp, uh, in temp errance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up. And that's what, uh, what's happening right now. You're starting to see, okay, the, uh, the end of this man's society, okay? You're seeing, you know, um, uh, lack of faith being cut off, okay? You know, lack of, uh, uh, of uh, you know, basically uh, unrighteousness being cut off. You're starting to see all that. You're starting to see what? You know, faith flourishing. You're starting to see righteousness flourishing. You know, uh, you, 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 in that, um, you're seeing the, uh, the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and also... You have our brethren, okay, and sisters that may even look like a heathen, right? They may look like a so-called white person or so-called Asian, whatever, you know, Arab. But ultimately, their seed line comes back to, uh, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They're returning un uh, back unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay? The, uh, the, the, the true God of this earth, all right? Yahweh being the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? You're seeing... You know, our people, the, the, the elect, the remnant, you know, the, 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 the few chosen that are um, ordained to come back to the Lord, they're, you know, um, they're leaving the ways of this world, which is a death style, and they're returning unto Yahweh Baal Shem Shai, which is the ways of life, okay? You see? Because wisdom, all right, let's get that real quick, because it said right here, and it talks about the beginning of immortality, okay, for to come. Now, let me get this scripture here 
in wisdom of Solomon. You see, with our people, you know, returning to Yahweh Hashem Shai, the Lord is opening up our eyes, right? And um, and is um, Salaki. You know, um, the Lord's opening up our eyes and allowing us to get this wisdom once again. Okay, that you know this, you know that um, that was you know basically um hidden for such a long time. All right. And with that being said, what's happening? You're seeing um, uh, the kingdom of uh, 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 the kingdom being translated. You're seeing, um, as the scriptures talk about, uh, uh, that that translation of power. Okay, you know, you're seeing this kingdom being, you know, uh, 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 given from one people to another right now. All right, and as the scriptures say in the book of uh, in the in the gospels, I believe it's in Matthew. It, uh, the, the Lord said to the uh, the uh, disciples at the time, He said, "The kingdom of heaven is within you." And what did He mean by that? He's talking about the wisdom, okay? And uh, let's start off with this uh, wisdom of Psalm six and seventeen. It says, "For the very true beginning of her, and that her is talking about um, wisdom, is the desire of discipline." So, if you um, if you uh, desire wisdom, okay, if you want wisdom, you have to have that discipline, okay? All right, you have to um, basically put your flesh into subjection. You have to uh, follow the standard of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Now, you know you have to basically um, leave the ways of this world. Okay, that's what you're gonna have to do. You know, and it's something that's uh, not easy because if if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. You know, but it's not though. You know, because this, this world puts that, what, that pressure on you, all right? Puts the, you know, the heavy pressure on you, and it makes you, uh, 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 it basically even makes, uh, puts you through temptations, okay? Then you deal with afflictions, trials, tribulations, and for, you know, some people, actually for a lot, I might even say some, for a lot of people, it's too much. It's too much for them, and they can't handle it, you know? So that's why they don't want to uh, be involved in this truth, and ultimately it's because the Heavenly Father didn't want him because look, if you are a part of the elect, you're going to follow these um uh you're gonna follow the Lamb, okay? You're gonna follow Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Okay? You see? Now I'm gonna keep reading. It says, and the care of discipline is love, and love is keeping of her commandments. Okay, that's true love right there. If you really love the Heavenly Father and His Son, all right, you love Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you're gonna keep the commandments, okay? Which, you know, these Christians out here, they don't do. They don't believe in it. You see? And I'm going to keep reading. It says, And the giving heed unto uh, her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And the reason why is because, um, let me get this real quick. Because when you sin, all right, which is the transgression of the law, meaning the breaking of the law, okay? It says here in... um. Romans was at 3 and 31. Yep, the last uh, scripture here says in Romans 3 and 31, it says, Do we, uh, we then make void? Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Salakia, yeah, this is not the one. Um, talks about, well, hold on, let me see if I can find it. You know what? I'm going to have to lay. Because it says, it, oh my bad, that wasn't the, the scripture. But it says here, oh, it's 6 and 23, wrong uh, scripture. Um, but it says here in Romans 6 and 23, this is the scripture I meant to get. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our Lord. And you see, that's, um, that, that's the main thing is, if you sin, okay, um, the wages of it is death, okay? Meaning you're... If you if you uh, sin, death is around the corner. You know you, that's what, what you're gonna receive. All right, but you see, when you follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. All right, all right. Let me put type this in. It talks about how um. Man, where is it? Man, well, there's a few, but it talks about how um basically. You know, these law, statutes, and commandments are the... Well, right here, this is the one I wanted. This is uh, Sirach 19 and 19. It says, 
the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. You see, when you um, know the, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, and you apply it to your life, all right, you're going to receive life. You're not going to die. And that's why I said here in, um, what is that, the, uh, going back to, um, what is this, that second Ezra, the uh, sixth chapter. Let's get that real quick again. Six and, um, not second. Well, I meant to get my bad. Wisdom of Psalm in the sixth chapter. It says here, let's read it again. It says, And the love is keeping of her, uh, the, uh, Wisdom of Psalm 6 and 18. And the love is keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. So if you're going to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, hey, you, you're not going to be um, corrupted anymore, okay? Hey, you, you're going to be, uh, uh, you know, you're going to, um, basically be uh, 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 immortal okay and that's what we're striving for and right now we're not perfect okay but with us returning unto Yahweh Shimei Hashai that means he's gonna um, uh, basically you know forgive us he's gonna uh, have that mercy and he's gonna do what he's gonna perform the second covenant which the second covenant it um it consists of us having the law statutes and commandments embedded in our minds all right and with that being said, that means we're not going to sin anymore. That means we're going to be immortals. All right? And I'm going to keep reading. So this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 19. It says, And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Okay? Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. All right? You see, if you desire wisdom, that's going to bring forth that, uh, you know, that kingdom. Okay? And, um... And, um... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, and that, that's pretty much what, you know, what we're seeking for. You know, we, we want that kingdom. Okay? And you see, that's what I was going to... Uh, it came back to me. The Wadi Yalba, Shimei Hashai. Basically, with us, um, you know, um, not sinning, you know, in the Lord. You know, allowing us to get that second covenant, you know. We, um... We, uh... You know that's the we're, that means we're not going to sin anymore, and that that means that the, the, the um, our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom because that means the Lord doesn't have to um, uh, basically strip the kingdom from us because we will be following His law, statutes, and commandments. Hey, the Lord said in Deuteronomy the uh, twenty-eighth chapter, we always bring out the uh, the fifteenth verse on down to the sixty-eighth verse because that's basically the time period we're living in. But look, when you read Deuteronomy twenty-eight, um, verse one through fourteen. It talks about the blessings, okay? Not the curses, it talks about the blessings. And those blessings basically talk about how we're going to prosper, we're going to have dominion, you know, we're not going to have um, any worries or issues, okay? <laughs> you know? And then, that, that's what we're striving for, you know? We, we really, we, we're looking for the kingdom because we're tired of being in this lowest state. You know, if you're a real man of the Lord, you know, you're, you're tired of, you know, being... In this place, you're tired of being in, you know, your wicked flesh. You're tired of, you know, uh, having heathens rule over you. You're tired of seeing um, the Lord's creation, you know, uh, talking about the earth and, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, everything. The earth, the animals, you know, the ecosystem, all that stuff being destroyed. You get tired of it. You know, it being misused, mistreated. All right. I'm going to keep reading. It says, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, that ye may reign forevermore. Okay? You see? If you really delight in, you know, you know, thrones and scepters, you want to be that, that king. Because our people, they always say it, that they're kings, that they're gods, right? If you really, you know, uh, 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 believe in that, and you really want that, what did it say there? Honor wisdom. And you see, that's what the men of the Lord are doing. We're honoring wisdom, because look, that, that by us honoring wisdom, that that's gonna um, that that's gonna uh, um, have the Lord fight for us, you know. Cause that means we're doing what we're following what He says, you know. We're crying out unto Him, you know. We're, we're you know trying to you know um, basically leave our wicked ways, you know. And that's pleasing to Him. You see, that's pleasing, and that's why I said here, in that um. What is that, uh, that, uh, that second Ezra's? Was it the seventh chapter I got in the 40? 
Let's read that one more time. The 43rd verse, it said, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of the immortality for to come. And you see, that's what's coming, that, that immortality. It's coming, brothers, man, you know? It's coming. You know, we just got to be patient and just wait. Hey, let the Lord perform His great work, which we're seeing it happen right before our eyes anyways. We're seeing that great work, you know, um, occurring, you know? Just got to, you know, uh, endure, you know, these last days, endure, you know, um, as the scriptures say, hey, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved, you know? We just got to, you know, deal with the, you know, the temptations, the afflictions that are going to arise. You know, but, but after this, what, you know, what, what's going to come? You know, uh, the immortality, that kingdom, that everlasting kingdom that's spoken about in the book of Daniel. Okay? Which is our kingdom. You know? Which is going to be our kingdom. You no, know, obviously through Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? But, you know, with us being the sons of the Most High, you know, that we're, we're going to be joint heirs. You know, with Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, because Yahweh is going to give the kingdom really to Yahweh Shai. And then, you know, like I said, well, you know, with that being said, us, us being joint heirs, we're going to be um, partakers of that kingdom as well. You know, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, the kingdom of Israel. Yasharala, the kingdom of Yasharala, all right? You see? But um, that's pretty much it. You know, um, I hope this was edifying. I, uh, you know, basically, you know, saw that, you know, that scripture. And you know, I thought it was a pretty good scripture to, you know, do a lesson on it. You know, hey, I can maybe just just hold, you know, fast to what you, you know what you have, as the scriptures say. Look what's going on in the world, man. You got chaos everywhere, confusion. You know, uh, you know, World War Three popping off. You got, you know, the civil unrest. You, you have brothers and sisters waking up all over the world. You know, you, you man, you see all this stuff happening, man. This should be making you uh, uh, joyful. You know, don't be in the low spirit. Keep fighting, keep praying, and just keep pushing. You know. With that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. I'll bless you, So double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom, all.